How's everybody doing? Good? Good evening. So NFL made the right move there, you know, with the uh, lightning in the area. So that was good to see. Um, you know, the guys, uh, I thought, you know, did well today in terms of the first operation of, of, of preseason, you know, in terms of the offense, defense kicking. You know, the one thing in this game, I know it sounds, you know, obviously basic, but is to have the substitutions right. Make sure that we have, you know, the guys out there are supposed to be out there who we're supposed to see, uh, the number of plays that we want to see guys playing. Uh, we don't want to put a certain player in harm's way for too long, so we, we do a really good job with that, communicating that. And then what I noticed was the offensive staff being the first time together, the communication. I thought that was outstanding uh, the whole night, uh, the way they operated when they were not on the field with the players, you know, and the way they operated in the halftime was, was really good. And then during the game when they were on the field, and they did a great job communicating, working together, and several of those guys have worked together before, but uh, it's a new group, and I thought they did a really good job with that. Um, you know, staying with the offense, the two-minute drive at the end of the half I thought was really nice, being able to uh, work that down. We work on that um, very diligently every single day. Um, and then uh, coming out after halftime adjustment, going down and scoring again, I thought that was really good. And then what stood out for me on defense was was the uh, sudden change. We had that muff punt and then the ability to, you know, go three and out there and then force that missed field goal. I thought that was really good energy and, and nice job by those guys. You know, we were very vanilla on both sides of the ball today in terms of the play calling, uh, what was available to us. Um, but uh, we were looking for fundamentals and basics from the whole group. And you saw on defense a little bit, we lost the leverage a couple of times, had some missed tackles, um, which created new first downs for them. We had the big penalty on the uh, first drive. Um, the holding penalty there, that kind of hurt us there too. But for the most part, uh, the guys uh, operated well. I thought the energy was really good. The intensity was good. And uh, this time of year, you always got to work on the basics, the fundamentals, you know, the tackling, the leverage, you know, you know, finishing your blocks, you know, on offense and, and doing things the right way. So it's a big week ahead of us. We got a lot of things to accomplish. Um, a couple of guys to note, you know, obviously Colin did a really nice job, had a, had a really good game. Uh, Rip had a really good game in terms of his operating of, uh, operation of the offense. Uh, had some really good uh, shots in there. Herb had a couple big runs. Uh, uh, Rowe did good. Uh, had a couple popped a couple runs there. So overall, it was a, a, a good uh, good start. How bad were the conditions from your view? And did you have any input? Did they consult with you at all about what you wanted to do as far as the game once it was stopped? Uh, yes, they just, they put us in there and said, "Hey, we're going to do 30 minutes, and then we'll let you know." Um, you know, and they knew the weather was coming in. They told us before the game, you know, so they, they had a, a plan in place uh, to watch it because you never know how, how bad it's going to be in terms of the lightning and the severity of it. And uh, it, it was severe enough where they called it, and they, they made a good call. In the, given the number of quarterbacks last year and the year before who were forced to start games because of injuries just around the league, what's the value of figuring out now kind of how many serviceable, serviceable backups you have? And what do you think of, of Rippon and, and Bajan uh, today? Yeah, I mean, those are two good quarterbacks. You know, they can really operate and they've played in games. And uh, it's great to have that competition and have those guys uh, in there. And they're great in the room. You know, I'm in that room a lot. And they're they're superb in that room in terms of, you know, supporting Caleb and, and you know, and, and talking through the offensive plays and, and what they see and how they see it. And and uh, it's it's invaluable to have, you know, Shane in there, of course, and Kerry, and those, but those two quarterbacks are, are a big piece of that, too. Matt, with, with Rippon specifically, what did he show you tonight? Uh, just what I saw in practice. You know, he's been in this offense. You know, he's he knows the offense well. Um, he's heard the verbiage. He understands the concepts, and you can see that. You know, he's... He definitely understands the space that needs to be occupied by the receivers and how they get open, and you could see that today. You know, he was throwing guys open. And your first look at the new kickoff, what did you think in general? What did you think of your turnout? I said kickoff team wins today, right? I mean, they had the ball the 20 a couple times, maybe 26 a couple times. You know, so it was uh, it was good good by the cover teams. You know, I thought that the uh, the return team struggled a little bit staying on blocks. It looked like to me. I'll go back and look at the tape, but that's what I saw on the field. You guys is cautious not to reveal too much about what you're going to do with that as you are with your other your offense and defensive scheme in preseason games. I, I think it's both. I think it's both. You know, you're going to try to do that a little bit, but man, we're trying to figure this thing out. You know, so you know, it's like you know, <laughs> you have to figure it out. Like, hey, what is it going to look like? You know, so we, certainly we've tried different things on the return team and different oper you know way to attack on the on the cover team and putting different bodies in different spots. So we're really 
just trying to figure it out. And I think that's where all coaches are. We're just trying to figure it out and do the best thing we can. And that's going to be ongoing through the whole season. Because like anything else, you know, you see things that are starting to work. You'll see it more and more and more, and then people will catch up to it, and then you'll have to adjust. Did, you, the NFL is. did Tory not punting today? Was that a function of you're going to see these guys in week two? Yeah, we're going to see him the rest of the, the rest of the camp. You know, we're hopeful to see him, so we'll, we'll see. The Texans in week two, I mean. Is, is that, did, was, it, was he a healthy scratch, or was it, there's no injury? Yeah, there were several players that sat today. You know, it's... What was the setup for Caleb today? What did you guys have him do, and what did you want him to do or pay attention mm-hmm. to? Did you have any interactions with him during the game? Yeah, so the setup for that when, once we got here was, you know, you guys know we toured the hall, and, and that was great to see those guys. And then the next day, we, we really spent the morning, you know, uh, in walkthroughs. You know, it was, a, it was a heavy walkthrough day today, you know, in terms of the guys not playing in the game. So we got a bunch of reps um, in there at the hotel. So that was really important to do that and really go through – a game day function, you know, go through your first 15, go through the operation of that, what is the openers, um, and we did that. You know, had meeting and walked through with both offense, defense, and special teams, the guys that were not playing. And then, we, of course, we prepared the guys that were playing, too, with that same kind of operation. Once we got to the game, we wanted to do the pregame warm with all the guys that are, that are playing, or the whole football team, so they got that operation down, so we wouldn't have to talk about that again. And so he went through the pregame, and then, you know, bringing him into the, into the, uh, you know, right before the game, talking to him about what we, what he needs to know based on the information we give him as the quarterback. And that's information that's pertinent to locations on the field, what we're doing, when we're going for stuff, all those things that we talk about. You, know, you, already, you mentioned Colin Johnson, but what did you think of the uh, catch who went over the guy to make the catch? And they almost did it again. Later. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. You know, it's, it's too bad he didn't catch that one. You know, that was another really good opportunity there. But, uh, you know, you got to get your hand underneath. They told us the ball was moving, and then it ended up touching the ground. So you got to finish the catch there, but uh, yeah, outstanding. Is, is Bayless's place as a return man on this team pretty secure? Bayless, yeah, I, I think it's wide open right now. I really do. I, I, that's why you see, you know, you guys are at practice. You see what eight guys back there, you know. So there's there's uh, a lot of guys. You know, it's, it's you have to look at, you know, and it's to me, if you're like the back end of the roster, you know, at, at linebacker, at receiver, or whatever those hot spots are halfback, whatever it might be, man, the more you can do, you know, so that's like, you know, you got to be able to do a lot, you know, so those guys, like if you're a four core guy and you're playing on all special teams and you're lighting it up, you know, that's, that's probably a good thing, you know, so to me, it's all competition. That's why we do camp. You mentioned all the things that you put Caleb through today. Is there value for him? I mean, does he gain a little bit of experience even just standing on the sideline and watching? Yeah. His well, first- yeah. Yeah, it's his first time going through pregame, first time getting all the information. He, he was right there with halftime adjustment, so he got to see that um, for the first time. You know, it's not, you know, college, you know, where you got 30-minute halftime and you can put a whole new offense in. I mean, you come out, come out running the wishbone. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's fast. So. You laid out how much you want Caleb to play in the preseason games as far as the experience you want him to get. So what do you need to see between now and – next weekend's game in Buffalo to green like that, to have him out there? Yeah, it's just uh, going through the whole process. You know, this is a big week for us. I mean, we got to really make strides here. We got a sense of urgency. You know, we have to get better now. And uh, we got to see that from everybody. And that's, uh, that's an important part to that. And that's what we talk to the guys about. And they understand that. So it's going to be a physical week. It's going to be a week where we got to get better. So. From from Devin speaking with the guys, what, what was your takeaway from from Devin? Yeah, practice? just how appreciative uh, he is uh, of you know his time with the Bears and how much he loved that time with the Bears and the camaraderie he had with the guys. I mean, you could really feel that when he talked about that, and he knows how lucky he is. That was at three seventy eight now in the hall, and he's one of those guys, and he really honors that, and and really you know he's just so excited to have that you know, and they could never take that away from him, and uh, that's what we got from him. So it's good.